Noni says no. Noni can do lots and lots of things. She can give her baby brother his bottle. She can tie her own shoelaces. She can walk to her friend Susie's house all by herself. The only thing Noni can't seem to do is say no. Noni can recite the alphabet backwards. She can count to 100 while hopping on one leg. She can help Mama in the kitchen and fold napkins into pretty patterns. But Noni can't say no. When Noni was much younger, she had no trouble saying no. In fact, she almost always said no to her mama. And she almost always said no to her papa. And she would have said no to her baby brother, too, if he'd been born back then. But now, if her friend Susie asked to sleep over, Noni says yes, even though she sometimes wants to say no. If Susie asked to play with Noni's special doll, Noni says yes. If Susie asked to borrow her favorite dress, Noni says yes. Noni absolutely, positively cannot say no. One day, while playing hairdresser, Susie asks Noni if she can cut her hair. She wants to take it all off, except for the tuft at the front, and dye it red. Noni hems and haws. She stutters and stalls, and she really, 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 really wants to say no. But Noni says yes. Afterwards, she is very, very sorry, and so is her mother. At Susie's house, when Noni asks if she can sleep over, Susie has no trouble saying no. When Noni asks if she can play with Susie's special teddy bear, Susie says no, without hesitation. And when Noni asks to be the princess and wear the sparkly tiara, Susie says no again. But when Susie asks to come over the very next day, Noni says yes, even though she wants to say no. On their play date, Susie tears a bunch of pages out of Noni's favorite book, and she gives herself the leading role when they perform for Noni's brother, and by royal decree, Noni has to play the dog. And when Susie asks Noni if they can watch the same movie for the thousandth time, Noni says yes, even though she wants to say no. Finally, Susie goes too far. She asks if she can stay overnight and sleep in Nani's bed with Nani sleeps on the floor. Mm, said Nani. Mm, mm. Okay, she says finally. Susie sleeps very well that night, but Nani does not. Nani is livid. She is raging mad. She is totally fuming. Not to mention very, very tired. When Susie asks if she can have the last bowl of Nani's absolutely, positively favorite cereal, Nani digs down deep, braces herself, inhales, Gets ready for the confrontation, the showdown, the fight to end all fights. And in her biggest, bravest voice, she finally says it. No! Okay, says Susie. I'll have toast. <laughs>